Previously, on Super Ultra Mega Science with Justin Barricat. I have found a cure to the virus. Well, hurry and get it to the people quickly! No, it's too risky. People are dying! You know who the target is. Kill him. Ma'am, we're sorry, but the procedure was a failure. Your son is dead. No! No, Grandpa! Don't die! Don't leave me! It's my time to leave, child. No! Why did he have to die? I'm going to look for my father! Your father is dead. Super Mega Science with Justin Barracat. Tell me everything you know about moles. I don't know anything about moles. Tell me! Oh. Get down! Bang. Slavinsky, oh. are you okay? Yes, thank you for saving me. Two weeks later. Slavinsky, what did he try to get you to tell him? Uh, he kept... He kept asking me about about something he called he called moles. Moles? What why would he want to know about moles? I don't know, he kept asking me. What 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 even is a mole? Uh well here, let me get my trusty dusty computer that is conven so conveniently placed for me. And see, uh a mole, mole, uh Google. Okay, a mole is a mole... What? It's just a number, though. It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. That's... That's... Oh, yeah, my 10th uh, grade science teacher told me that. His name was, uh... Mr. Walding, I think. Yeah, I remember that class. So much fun. But but there was this guy named Avogadro who came up with it. It can be used to, like, measure, like, mass for, you know, elements and stuff. Like... Like... If the car, the element carbon has like 12, 12 units of mass, but a mole of carbon atoms would have 12 grams. So the molar mass is, is like basically, uh, you know, like how much mass something has. But that doesn't make any sense. Hold on, let me, let me look into mole more in depth. Molar volume, so it's not just for mass, it's also for volume. The molar volume symbol is Vm. Okay, that makes sense. It's the it's the volume occupied by one mole of a substance. But, but, that, why, why would Dr. Sorenstein want to know that? <gasps> what, what, why, what, what did you figure out? Okay, Slavinsky, let's think about this for a second. Berenstein sounds like what? What? Sounds like Sorenstein. The Berenstein Bears were known for having hospitality. Oh, okay, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you see, pyro, pyrokinetic people also have lots of hospitality. Okay, and pyrokinetic people can use fire to their advantage. Yes. Bombs also cause large fires. Uh-huh. So Dr. Sorenstein must be trying to create a bomb! <gasps> we have to warn the government! Gentlemen, one of our agents was captured, nay, but three weeks ago. Whilst he was captured, we learned that the enemy... One, another one of our agents came and told us that the enemy is trying to make a bomb. Gentlemen, what do you propose that we do? Justin! Time for cookies! And you can bring your doll friends with you too! Oh God! Why are you annoying us? I'm trying to have a council of war here! And they're not dolls! They're action figures! God! Ugh. Ugh, God! Ugh. <clears throat> okay, gentlemen. Well, after that little interruption, what do you suggest that we should do? I have a suggestion. Okay, what is it, Mr. Panda Bear? I think we should send some representatives from our organization up into space to check out Dr. Sorrentine's secret space 
Lab. That is an amazing idea. Later in space. That's no moon. You are right. It's the Muller ship. Bwam, 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 bwam. Oh no, the Muller ship is blocking out the sun and causing a molar eclipse. Bwam, 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 bwam. Daddy, why is it dark outside? Yo, Dad, why is it so digging it all dark outside, man? Honey, did you forget to pay the power bill again? Gentlemen, after sending that operative up in space, we have learned that Dr. Sorenstein was not, was in not, in fact, not trying to make a bomb. He was trying to make a molar ship. And now he's blocking out the sun so that the earth can never get any more sun ever again and we'll all die because of starvation because plants cannot grow. We must use the laser. Honey, they've authorized the use of the laser. If I don't come back, tell the... Whoa, 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 uh, hey, it's me, the producer of this film, uh, Justin Barricat. Yeah, this movie was, a uh, pretty low budget to begin with. I mean, if you couldn't tell, we only had, like, a total of two actors and, like, four stuffed animals. So, you know, the budget was already low to begin with, but, you know, they cut the budget even more, so we couldn't really get an official ending, so... Yeah, I'm just here to tell you to assume that the laser fired and it worked... And it was amazing, and everyone lived happily ever after. And, uh, yeah. Now for some credits. This is the end. There is no more. Unless I make a another video. This video better get me an A. Because I know where you live. Mr. Waldang.